This morning, one local startup is now part of the national rollout of COVID-19 vaccines, and it's doing it with the nation's first fully autonomous planes. KPI's 5's Emily Turner joins us live from Buchanan Airfield with a groundbreaking effort, and you're up close and personal, Emily. Yeah, it's actually really cool. I've had the opportunity to get on this plane and fly in it. I told my mom after the fact that it was fully autonomous because she would have just died. But it was really, really cool. But what's cooler than that is what they've been able to do with this technology. It's a plane just like this one that I'm talking about. Now, the planes and the technology are actually going to accomplish and help accomplish filling the gap of the delivery chain, which allows more people to get the vaccine sooner. They're flying around the COVID-19 vaccine, specifically the one produced by Pfizer. Now, it's the company's called X-Wing. It's the first company to introduce autonomous technology for regional air cargo. They just got the approval in late November from the FAA to start commercial operations. And so, of course, as you can imagine, launching in a pandemic is a little bit tricky, but they've been able to pivot and really be a big part in solving the crisis. They were able to step up to the plate and help deliver doses of the vaccine and will continue to do so. In fact, their first shipment went out to the Navajo Nation. And because Pfizer's vaccine, the one they're sending, has a limited shelf life and strict storage and security requirements. Remember, this is the one that has to be really, really cold. The express cargo feeder operation provides a critical piece of the nation's logistics network in ensuring that it secures securely delivers that vaccine to some of those smaller localities nationwide. We're quite grateful um, uh, to the FAA to to, allow, to have allowed us to to start these operations in such record time because we it's been a um, it's been a very much a compressed process to get this authorization and, and especially given the situation right now right uh, people are dying frontline workers are struggling everybody's struggling and uh, anything anything anyone can do to help there uh, is a is a welcome addition. Yeah, it's an important mission, and they're going to continue to do that in addition to some of their other business, right? They are a cargo operation, so they ship other things as well with some of their partners. But, of course, one of the most important things at this point is that vaccine so that we can roll that out and get closer to the immunity levels we need so that life can go back to normal. Reporting live in Concord, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.